जय हिंद एवरी वन वेलकम अकेन टू दैटोटिक आई एस एंड लेट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर द हिंदू एनालिसिस द न्यूज एनालिसिस दैट वी डू ऑन ए डेली बेसिस वी विल स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक्स द मेजर इवेंट्स एंड न्यूज दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द फर्स्ट विल विद दिस इंडिया फ्रांस देर इज द फर्दर डेवलपमेंट and uh, yes some of the addition that we will study that particularly with this uh, respect to the joint uh, announcement that has been come okay so ir gs paper 2 then we will study about the listen there is total between the judicial two uh, judges into the west bengal so supreme court in the suomoto case has intervened so that it could not be uh, means uh, that can save the face of the judiciary so this will be the second news that we will take after that we will take that there is a unique case uh, you, the kerala government is uh, developing a uh, tourism based on the women participation and women centric participation so it will bring the experience of the nature very close to the nature those who tourists want to travel in those areas so this will be this is very genuine effort so we will cover that because this will come under the society women empowerment as uh, as for that the employment generation and sustainable employment generation so gsp paper one two three you can use anywhere as per the need after that we have seen that what will happen happen in the gyan vapi case as we have the place of worship act what will the impact on this place of worship act because there has been a very crucial case this is very sensitive case so we will see that what is the development that is going uh, going to be then we will see this um, dg yatra this is the government scheme for the hassle free for the a uh, quick procession a quick processes at the uh, airports so this is associated with that so government scheme gs paper 2 this also associate with the privacy issue of the persons next we will take with the respect to the uh, uh, there is a, a statement from the our isro chairman that uh, how the legendary leaders who have created the isro what have been their role and overall what is the characteristic of a leader so we will study we can use it in the ethics paper as well as the essay paper then we will take the women in command this 26 january uh, the public day processions we saw that women take uh, women took many uh, in the many of the area lead role and 100% women contingent was used so we will see that how we can use all this thing there are three news on the frequently asked the question there has been the explanation with respect to the punjab opposing this bsf extension of its power so we will we can use it in the internal security because bsf is the uh, security force one of the lead security force and uh, we can also use this into the center the state tussle encroachment of the union on the state areas there is roll out of the malaria vaccine till now malaria vaccine was not available now the scientific research is going on now we have seen that in the cambodia that has announced and has become the first country to for the, uh, this malaria vaccine program at the national level so we will study it under the gs paper three science and technology after that we will study this what is this uh, demand of the ladakh for the gilgit baltistan again it is gs paper 2 because this ladakh is also talking about the asking about asking for the inclusion in the sixth schedule of the constitution after that in the last we will take the the science and technology page under that we have covered the report on the radioactive discharge how it is impacting the society and the people around this uh, this uh, power plants after that we will study the carbon emissions from the oil sands so basics about the oil sands we will try to know what is this oil oil sands you should know and uh, it where it is found after that there is the a case of the invasive species that is uh, that is creating a shift in the ecosystem so we will study it is particularly the case where the ants have been local ants have been replaced by the invasive ants and that's is that is causing the 
disturbance in the ecosystem functions. So, this will be study, we will study in the, the GS paper 3. All this is from the GS paper 3, Science and Technology and Environment. This Western Equine Encephalitis, this has outbreak in the Argentina. So, we should know that this is associated with the Argentina. You basically can ask. What enables owls to fly silently? This is a curious curiosity, a science, basic science question. So, we will try to know that what is the region, uh, what is the region behind this silent fly of the owls. So, the owls has been always a mysterious bird and it has the mythical stories and uh, so many mythical relevance. So, let us start with the first page. The first page we will start. The first page, the first page that has covered is this BJP, where it's the support uh, options in the Bihar. So this is totally a political news. Uh, we don't have anything relevant that we can use for the UPSC. So we will take the first news from the India France. The, uh, there has been the announcement of its uh, final statement from the both sides. So let's start with this. So, what has been the final announcement? The first is that already we saw that there has been the joint surveillance mission that will be taken from the both sides and it is one of the island of France in the Indian Ocean. The name of this island is the Law Reunion. Okay. So, we will intensify the cooperation in the Indian Ocean region. There has been the many of the islands from the France. France will use, France will also make the base, India as a base for its, uh, its manufacture and export defense equipment. And by that, in the combined, we will produce and we will sell, we will export to the other countries. So, not only it is the, uh, it will provide the security apparatus to the India, but also it will provide the income generation opportunity as well as the employment generation opportunity for the youth in India. France is the b first major uh, Western military power which has the conducted the joint patrol with the this Indian Navy P-8I Marine Patrol aircraft, and this has been deployed in the Law Union. Okay, so it is very close to the Mauritius, Stone and uh, Stone Africa, coast of the Eastern Africa, but it is in the Indian Ocean, this is island. Okay. Further, we have seen that the, this uh, statement mentioned that uh, this, there has been the uh, satisfaction from the both sides in the area of the complexity and interoperability of India-France joint defense exercise. So there has been, whatever the progress has been done, they are satisfied, both countries are satisfied and they will further make the progress on that. This is here. And then they also have discussed this, uh, increasing the capacity, particularly in the area of where the joint joining the hands with the other like-minded countries. So, this is need in the Indian Ocean. Indian Indo-Pacific, the need is that like-minded uh, uh, countries should come together, they should cooperate with each other, there should be the proper strategy and after that there should be the uh, uh, military exercise and they should know each other's the interoperability so that in the case of there is any threat from the any country, you can understand which country I am talking about. It is the China that is being aggressive and alone India can do nothing unless it is going to make an alliance and a cooperation with the other like-minded countries like the France, Australia, Japan. Okay, so these are the things we should be uh, clear. Here this statement has also mentioned the same thing. India carries out the tri-service the unique thing that is uh, here, is look at the India previously have done the tri-service exercise with the US and Russia. So here you can see that India's policy of non-alliance. We have the equal relationship with the US and Russia, both superpowers. Otherwise, if you will take the side of one block and you are going against the other block, this has been the trend across the world, but the non-alignment movement now was started just due to positive cooperation with the both block. So, whenever the question comes on the non-alignment movement, never go, it's negative tone, always go with the positive tone that we don't want it to oppose the both block, 
but we wanted to cooperate with the both bl block without creating enmity with the any one of them so this was the main reason for the norm okay so india now want to this try services uh, exercise with the france as well the other thing that this discuss about is that in the 2013 india and uh, france already have finalized the uh, comprehensive map for the indo pacific okay so now we need to further improve it on the defense industrial uh, co cooperation okay this statement also reiterate that there is the commitment to the further deepening the integration between the two countries respect to defense industrial sector so we study saw that in the different sector like the in the fighter uh, uh, this combat fighters and the jet is uh, jet engines all we are going to either co-design co-develop and uh, we want to exchange of the technology even the france has uh, agreed for that so all this is for the addition in this france indo france relationship this is all about you can use wherever you have to write about the india france relationship what has been the dynamics we already have provided a question a upsc practice question on that please try to write this the next important news that we are going to take this is the just a example of the tussle between the judges okay so we have saw that this, uh, we have seen that stored in the few days there was the one uh, there was the judge one judge is supporting one party other judge is supporting one party and the order is going on it was going on in the west bengal one judge brought this case medical admission case other judge stayed it okay so see that one judge this uh, the name of this judge is uh, gangopadhyay he brought that there should be the cbi who should investigate this uh, corruption cases but the other, other judge the name of that uh, judge is the uh, somit sen i think where is the, that the name okay so he transfer the case to okay so next judge let me show you the name yes here the somen sen somen sen he stated the order of the justice gangopadhyay is it it's so the immaturity of the judges because the, they are fighting in the public domain and public the respect for the public respect in the public for the judiciary will diminish that's why the supreme court took this case in the suo motto no one filed the case but the when they read in the uh, newspaper that what is going on in the high court and this is not the lower court at the district level or any other level but this is the high court they represent the whole state in so the justice system of the state but the such infighting shows the respect and legitimacy of the judiciary in the eyes of the people okay so this is the case look what is the going on this is the judiciary this is fighting here the polity executive is changing the their uh, alliance on the Uh, blink of the eyes that is going on in the executive judiciary and legislation we already saw the case of the legislation where near about 141 opposition member in the parliament was suspended this is the case whenever you have to bring some of the uh, functionality of these two three uh, three organs of the government you should bring all this thing okay so you should uh, whenever you have to bring the suomoto case here the suomoto case no one Uh, approach to the supreme court supreme court take this by itself next important news is with respect to the this kerala and in the kerala the tourism uh, is being uh, in, uh, in, i mean so uh, developed in a such a manner that uh, it is the women centric as well as the nature centric so there is the program that whenever the anyone want to come to close to the a uh, nature so if they want to so, uh, see the nut nutmeg cardamom coffee all this malabar uh, tamarind groves they can approach to the this uh, farm tourism entrepreneurs and they have developed the farm in a such a manner they can you can go you can stay you can enjoy the nature they will provide the food and uh, other need whatever you will need you have to pay and this is developed this has been promoted by the kerala kerala responsible tourism mission society and here this farmers this farm to these uh, tourism entrepreneurs they are directly involved they will show their art local arts as well their artisans 
and their skills local skills all they will show and beside that it is good that uh, this is eliminating the mediators and that's why there is the directly they have been connected with the this organization so you should remember that this is a very good model wherever you have to suggest the uh, to promote tourism local tourism you can bring such model and this is Okay, so already it has the good result, network of 280 women's entrepreneurs, they are running this business in Kerala and local market, uh, market host travelers looking to explore the street cultural bounty, they can directly join, there is the linkage, link has been provided, how they can directly and it will reduce the reduce the cost of um, travel because directly you will connect, there will be the no mediator. Okay, so all this is very important. 50% of the of funds are being spent on the women oriented participation to the uh, tourism. Okay, <coughs> this is all about a mobile app has all be, uh, also been developed and uh, it has publicized the women friendly network. So whenever you are planning to go for the Kerala, you should uh, note down this and you should reach these places, these places where already this has been developed, Perumbalam, Kaddalundi and uh, this Kanaka Kunnu Palace, all these are all the area where uh, we are developing. Next important news that is relevant for us, we are going to take, just here is uh, one news that uh, this, uh, you should remember that TDP was uh, uh, founded by the anti-Rama Rao and in 1983. This is sufficient, uh, this uh, Kapu, Kapu community, this is, uh, this belong from the Andhra Pradesh. So, two information that you should remember, Kapu community and uh, this TDP was formed in the 1983. I think uh, it is very close when the uh, PM Indira Gandhi was there and there was the, after two years in the 1984, uh, there was the, yes, there was assassination of our uh, then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Okay, next important news is with respect to this very sensitive issue with the Gyan Vapi. We have found this uh, uh, this structure, previous structure of the temple, and now the BHP, BHP is asking for the please hand over to us. But there is the case place of worship act that talk about that. If there is a, any of the uh, any of the place which have the religious character uh, and uh, whatever its character is at the 15th August of 1947 when we got the independence if it is uh, there it will be very difficult to convert that into the other religious place so this is already uh, uh, this case it was brought to bring the harm money because there could be a lot of such religious places where the character would have been some different in the past maybe my house would have been the, some other character in the past but the people that start claiming on the past, it will increase the tussle between the society, tussle between the religion, people, and that's why it was, this act was brought. Even the Supreme Court in recent case of the this, this Ram Janam Bhumi, it's recognized this relevance of this act and said that the constitution bench in the, this uh, Ram Janam Bhumi verdict that observed that the act was an affirmation of the solemn duty of the state to preserve the equality of all faiths and the act was manifestation of the essential constitutional value. Okay, so this act already have been tested in the judiciary. Judiciary has brought the relevance of this act. So how we are going to decide that who will take this place okay so there was also debate that this judiciary in that case also in Ram Janam Bhumi case brought that what was the purpose to bring the 15th August 1947 as the deadline to declare that from that so the, uh, the reply came from the debate of the uh, constituent assembly when constituent assembly was uh, being uh, debated and even there was the debate in the parliament when this act was uh, act was about to uh, act was debated in the parliament so in the debate it's brought that it is because of the date uh, because uh, because from this date we also distinguish ourselves as a state which has no official language uh, religion Okay, from 1947, 15 August, we started a nation, a, a country who doesn't have a single official religion. It respects all the religions equally. Okay, 
which gives equal light to all different religious domination. Here, this is the reason why we brought this act. Okay. The historical fact is that this was destroyed in the 17th century by the in the Aurangzeb reign. So it is around 16, 76 to 77. Okay. So you should know that Akbar started with the 1556. Before that, the Babadi start. You should have the uh, a, a recall that is going in your mind when the, this Mughal Mughal rules is started. It started in the 1526 when the Babur captured the Delhi. After that, it was the Akbar. Uh, 19 yeah 1556. After that, there was the Jangis rules. Then Shah Jahan rules. Then again came the Aurangzeb. So it should you should recall all these things. So this is the tussle. Let's see how the judiciary is taking this case. Okay. Next important news that we will take with respect to this DG Yatra. DG Yatra has been uh, in the controversy due to the privacy violation. So there was the a letter from the one of the MP who asked that asked to the our civil aviation minister that this privacy is being violated. So in the reply, the civil aviation minister said that DG registration should be voluntary. Your data, your facial biometric will not be captured without your consent. You have to give consent only then they can take this uh, data. Okay. So this has the benefit. Uh, yes, this has benefit because uh, they will uh, allow you to enter from the gate and different checkpoints and the security checkup uh, by the, your facial recognition. You don't have to show your boarding pass and other things. So it will reduce the time uh, when the, all this process takes place. But the thing is that when the data will be saved and whenever you will be traveling anywhere, they will have the information of all your travel. So this is the issue. That's why there's uh, the passenger, many passengers are objecting for the this permanent uh, uh, permanent uh, saving of this data. Okay. And many a times it has been accused that the facial biometric was being recovered airport staff in a coercive and deceptive manner. Without they are telling that we are going to save your data, without telling that we are going to register in this uh, app, they are doing that, just asking that it is necessary to do that. If anyone is asking you to register into the particular app, they have to properly tell that this is you are going to give your consent, your data will be saved, but you will have the benefit, all the things. So many of the people who don't want to give their data, they cannot register. This is easy. But the thing is that this is why this is the main uh, tussle that is going on. Okay. Other important news that we are going to take, let's see which news is relevant. There has been mention of this uh, temple, Vidu Paksha temple. This belonged to the Hampi. This was the capital of uh, Vijayanagar Empire. So you should remember this Hampi. This is UNESCO word. Uh, this is in the news due to the Dres code. But yes, uh, you don't need to go into the detail of all these things. Just you should know that why it is in the news and what is the historical uh, historical relevance of this. Next important news that is relevant for us, we will take is this. Okay, so this is the from the lit fest, and uh, this is this is a speech given by our. Chairman of the ISRO, he said that uh, yes, uh, India has the Indian ISRO has been developed and shaped by the leadership role of the Vikram Sarabhai, Satish Dhawan, APJ Abdul Kalam, and Madhav Madhavan Nair. Okay, so he said that it is leadership is not about the individual, rather it is about the ability to transform the people along with you. So it is not that how you are going to use the capacity of the people who is working with you. Leaders work is that. They shows that how you have to do the things by giving their own uh, work example. They do uh, the things by themselves. Then they show, they teach them, they make them more capable. It is, it is bringing the skills and capacity of the person who are working with you. That is the main role of a leader. Okay, so he has mentioned they manage most complex activity with the utmost calm. 
it is not that they are going with the yes the peace and calm is most important need whenever you are going to appear in the upsc prelims or mains even at that particular time it is very difficult to maintain the peace and calm so whenever you are doing a very great work it is very much important that you should bring in a status of the peace and calm and organized and disciplined manner this is the most important thing to develop a big to achieve a big goals big go big aims in your life so you should remember this peace and calm this should always be there and organized and disciplined even this is necessary to ah uh, yes to crack this examination as well no he has mentioned that yes leader also identify the right people to right job and only from the different state were put into the team that was the main aim of the Ab abdul kalam so that the diversity in the work could be uh, could be inculcated okay so here it is telling that the ordinary uh, the leaders has the uh, capacity to make the leaders out of the ordinary individuals leadership is not about some individual okay so all this thing and the spirit of the team is what drive the organization and become integrity and uh, integral part of the success story okay he has also mentioned that to uh, unlike in other organization uh, when the issue they if, if they promote the asking the question criticizing the things giving new opinion they will not even the uh, the uh, this um, the chairman is telling that even the new younger comes to me and ask to me different opinion gives to me and i accept that this is the process that when you will if you will go the people want to just follow the orders in the organization this is this doesn't provide the diversity this doesn't provide the a healthy environment uh, for the new idea to generate so if you want to generate new ideas you have to give freedom to the people to say the things you should accept you should listen without any judgment or the grudge with them this is all about next important news that we are going to take okay yes there is uh, a statement with respect to the annihilation of the caste and here is the dalit leader who have mentioned that the, this dalit literature is started in the 1990s and it coincide with the both sanitary of the dr beam rao ambedkar okay so yes this is possible he is talking about the annihilation of the caste is possible he give example that uh, if you have to represent a words like the if you have to ask one question in the two metal where, where one represent the casteistic expression other is neutral for example if you have to ask some writers that are not you a writer you can talk then you can again say that are not you that the lit writer you can in, you will in, in, uh, in include this dalit and that's why you are bringing the casteism in the your conversation this is the way you can remove this dalit or uh, this uh, casteism casteistic behavior casteistic mindset and stereotype from the mind of the people next important news that we are going to take is with respect to the the participation of women active participation of women in this 26 january parade so here we saw that all women tri service contingent led by captain sandhya the military police from the of the military police captain sandhya c led the all women tri services so just you have to keep in your mind armed force medical services led by the manoj Sristi Khuller, okay, major, major Sristi Khuller, and uh, yes. Next thing that has been provided is it visible to you? Let me increase, zoom it. Okay, is it visible? This is the Uttar Pradesh Home Guard women's marching in the Lucknow. Next. thing you should know okay here it has been provided here it has been provided that where the women's participation was the first time it was in the parade comes with the musical instrument and yes the first all women tri service contingent marched okay women pilots also participated okay and uh, central reserve police force performed the 
they are devil's stunt with the all women okay again the central armed force contingent it has also consisted only women personnel delhi police also has the all women contingent you can bring one two name whenever you have to talk about the women in empowerment or the increasing roles and assertion by the women whenever you are going to write the essay yes you have to balance yes they are participating but they still this can be symbolic if you are not going to do something good on the grassroots level where the uh, infanticide is, uh, is very high where the women's ro uh, education in the primary and their role in the um, decision making is not that much so few few exceptional example you cannot give with respect to the women's empowerment yes you can have the supporting lines but you also have to go on the ground level what the reality is if the women is the prime minister of a country that doesn't means that the country is uh, very empowered with respect to the women for example we got our first women uh, prime minister in uh, 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 why? When? Uh, 1969 itself, uh, when the Indira Gandhi became the first prime, uh, woman prime minister. We have seen all it women prime minister in the Pakistan as well as in the Bangladesh. But the condition of women is still not that much. You cannot say that the, if the women has been put on the highest level of the just in the isolated manner in the few of the services, the women's ca uh, the case and their empowerment is in increased. So. I am saying that you have to balance your answer. These are the good example that yes, we are on the lead part of the women empowerment, but still we have to do a lot in the grassroots level and the, even at the family level, where the decision making of the women is not as much visible. So these are the pictures from this 26 January parade. You should see this. This, uh, this is from the Women Border Security Force. And uh, this is one the Atari border baga. Again, here uh, women's personal they took the lead role. Next important news that is very relevant for us that is in the news with respect to this BSF increased their uh, their jud jurisdiction with respect to their their mandate. Okay, so what is the chief mandate of the BSF? So. The tussle is going with the Punjab and uh, union with respect to this increased jurisdiction of the BSF in the state, uh, particularly the, uh, initially it was for the 15 kilometer. For example, take this is the border area and uh, the mandate of this was the 15 kilometer. Now they have increased. Okay. So. <coughs> Okay, so take the example that this is the border between the India and Pakistan. So it was initially 15 kilometer where the BSF has the jurisdiction. Now it has been increased to the 50 kilometer. Okay. So the state government is telling that if you have increased this uh, from here to here, what will happen to our officers, police force, because public order and the police is in the state list. As per this, it is under the seventh schedule, list two, that is the state list, and entry one and two gives the power of police. So first, this is the law and order, the second is with respect to the uh, police, with respect to state government. So, if you are increasing the this area so in that area what will happen the civilians will come under the jurisdiction of the bsf so the main the case that has been brought to the punjab is that geography of the punjab is such area that has been the included that uh, they have the large population area in the border area as compared to the other state where this has been increased this uh, this jurisdiction has been increased for example in the gujarat at the border area there is very sparse population no dense population same is the case with the rajasthan rajasthan mostly it is desert in the gujarat it is the Kutch area that is not that much uh, human habitation is there, but in the Punjab, the boundary there is the border area where they have a lot of population, dense population, and many of the district headquarters falls in this region. And beside that, to uh, these, uh, yes, uh, that, that has mentioned this uh, district that falls in this area, and this 
area is very highly fertile in case of the Punjab okay so it is telling that it will be, uh, cause the inconvenience to the people and including the farmers farmers have to cross the barbed wire and they will uh, face such issue so the Supreme Court as per the where this power give, what act gives this power to the union it is uh, done as per the section 139 of the border security force act 1961 so you should remember and this provision authorized center to confer the power and duties of bsf with respect to the central act and these are the central act to the, like the passport act registration of foreign foreigner ex central excise and the salt act fema foreign exchange regulation act all this has been provided this act with the, uh, with respect to this act the and any act that is uh, that has a con, uh, cognizable offense punishable under the any central act so this this provide this uh, this act provide the power of union to extend the jurisdiction but the what the supreme court have to test in this supreme court have to test whether this impugned notification uh, notification constitute and the arbitrary exercise of the central government so this notification that whether this is violating this is turning into the arbitrary action or there is the region there should be a very strong region to extend this jurisdiction so uh, it increased the jurisdiction beyond the local limits area adjoining to the border India under the section this so whether this can be done for the each of the state in the same manner that is also the case and what are the factors to have to be taken into the account to determine that how uh, what is the extent under that this jurisdiction can be increased means 10 kilometer 15 kilometer 30 kilometer 50 kilometer whatever you are doing why you are doing you should have a very strong reason for that and in the last it will test that whether this is this has unconstitutional interference into the legislative domain of the state so this is all about this case okay supreme court will also examine if all the border state have to be treated alike means if you are doing this for the 15 kilometer for the rajasthan will it will be uh, should it be implemented for the or the border state like the if this is the assam or the west bengal or the rajasthan or the jammu and kashmir so this is the main uh, testing point that supreme court will try to test next important news that we will take with respect to the gs paper 3 this is from the Cam uh, cameroon this is the african country so first let's locate let's know that what is the main um, center point of this news the malaria malaria vaccine that has been uh, started into cameroon this has become the first country in the world to launch this rts as malaria vaccine so you have to remember two things the cameroon has become the first country into world so cameroon you should remember the second thing is the name of this malaria vaccine is the rts as malaria vaccine okay so let's see that where it's uh, cameroon is situated located into the world map this is the africa map and cameroon is uh, here this is the cameroon so this has the coast as well and the gulf of gunia here and atlantic oceans okay this is here other thing you should remember that what are the area that it touches so, so and the with the eastern side this is the central african republic in the northern side it is the nigeria here it is the chand okay so Gabon is in the south down side so this is all about you should know just you should be careful about that it has the west coast okay and it is located on the east coast or uh, eastern side of the Atlantic Ocean this is the eastern side of the Atlantic but it is the west coast of the Cameroon and Africa it is the west coast of the Africa because for the Africa East is this west is this okay so west coast of Africa but the, for the Atlantic East is this and west is that so this is the uh, eastern part of the Atlantic there should be no confusion with respect to all this thing yes this is all about 
So yes, what is there? So further, there has been a debate that should it be started at the what level, severe case or the moderate case? So this article talk about it should be started for the moderate case. And uh, yes, uh, there has been the efficacy of the, this medicine is high. And uh, if you have uh, using this with the the guideline of the WHO, such as the insecticide treated bed nets, you have to use as per the WHO. So yes and you have to indoor residual spraying of the insect rapid diagnosis and uh, yes uh, and uh, treatment and diagnosis and the treatment so you should remember all this thing what is needed even in the normal case you have to do all this with the your house and uh, this malaria has been uh, now spreading in the area where it was not found previously due to the, this climate change because the, what is the condition to survival of these mosquitoes that the warm condition climatic condition and the water logging all this thing so as due to the climate change the area for example the hilly area where this uh, condition was not but the due to the warming the mosquito is reaching at that area and the, that's why the malaria is in, increasing and the health pressure is increasing so it has mentioned that the climate change as the major driver to affect the malaria transmission to the other part of the world for example europe was the cold but now the many countries of the eastern europe now they have the facing the mosquito presence in their area previously it was not that and malaria is the this uh, a mosquito is the vector. Vector means where this parasite will be there. Parasite is the main cause of the main cause of the this disease of the malaria. And the name of the parasite is the Plasmodium falciparum. So please remember, this is the parasite. This is the mosquito is the vector. And the, the name of mosquito is the Eno, um, Enopheles mosquito. And this is the female. Okay. So if it will bite and if this will be present in this uh, um, uh, this mosquito you will uh, get the malaria and you should also remember that this malaria is preventable and curable okay so this is the very crucial and what is the vector vector means to the if mosquito will not impact you or infect you if it doesn't have this bacteria for example take a case of you you get the injection okay so what happens if this is the injection and you are getting injection okay so this injection has nothing this has this air but if there will be the medicine will be filled in it and that will be injected in your body so this inject this injected this medicine is like the in the case of this 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 injection is the mosquito okay so this is the vector because this will carry this medicine portion this liquid this medicine is the like the parasite so only if the mosquito bite you that doesn't impact you until and unless it has the this medicine filled up in this injection so this is the parasite this mosquito female okay so you should know this okay where is this so name of the parasite a plasmodium falciparum and this is the uh, the vector is that Anopheles mosquito so you should know that the, what is the vector and what is the parasite this should be the clue and this uh, vaccine is also being uh, planned to uh, is, uh, uh, implemented and uh, start administration in the India as well so there is the very chance recently we will very soon we will see the implementation of this already we have the immunization program universal immunization program we india have and where there is near about 12 disease for which we are administering this vaccine you should remember and this is under the indradhanus what is going on in the ladakh ladakh there is the demand for the first thing is the sixth schedule second thing is the uh, a 
inclusion of this Galgit Baltistan area into the its administrative area. So already we consider the Galgit Baltistan as the Indian part and it is occupied by the Pakistan. You should remember that the Jammu and Kashmir 55% of area is with us, India. 30% with the Pakistan, 15% with the China. So you should have the clarity of this. Okay. So there is the two body, uh, two major regions, one uh, dominate by the, dominated by the Buddhists and other dominated by the Muslims. And Muslims, this is the Shia Muslims. Okay. So this lay apex body, it's dominated by the Buddhists and this Kargil Democratic Alliance, it is the Shia Muslims. That's dominate. So you should uh, remember. Initially, they were... The and they have the different view with respect to the th uh, this 370 and uh, 35A. Initially, they, uh, uh, this uh, Ladakh lay region that is dominated by the Buddhists, they wanted a separate autonomy from the Kashmir. But now after the uh, cancellation of this, uh, and there was no legislation, reduction of the power, they have started opposing this abrogation of Article 370 and 35A. Due to this Article 370 and 35A, there was the provision that was the given that uh, exclusive right to the locus over the land, jobs, and uh, natural resources. Okay. So here it has been mentioned that the region that is dominated by the community. So this was the benefit of the local people. The uh, outsider cannot have the right to land or the natural resources. But now we have opened to the uh, outsider as well. So the lay, uh, this uh, both organization is talking that, that there will be the socio-political, uh, 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 there will be the implication of the ecologically fragile and sensitive area. This is the here that has been mentioned. And they are demanding for the sixth schedule. And uh, Article 371 also provides the special provision with respect to the different northeastern uh, states. So the six schedule have the special uh, uh, power with respect to the four states, Assam, Mizoram, Meghalaya, and Tripura. You should remember. Other states also have been provided with a special provision with the Article 371. So two things you should remember. Prior to the 1947, this uh, Galgit Baltistan was the part of Ladakh district. But uh, yes, now we know that this is com uh, this is being administered by the POK. And uh, Ladakh also shared the long but the volatile line of the uh, line of actual control with the China as well. The central we saw in 2020 there was the uh, skirmish at this border area. There was the death of the Indian uh, in, uh, some of the Indian soldiers. Uh, near about 20 Indian soldiers died. So here, the what uh, what uh, what the centers approach till now? The centers has formed the committee under the uh, Minister of State G Kishan Reddy, but this doesn't uh, work out. Okay, now we have the again the government has formed a, another committee under the uh, Minister of the State Nityananda, and uh, yes, in this. Uh, what is the main demand that uh, these bodies submitted a written memorandum and uh, more structured talk should be there as they are demanding so on this issue okay so they want to progress on this issue next important news that we will take with respect to the ram temple it is important with respect to the uh, wh what has been the architecture style this has been the nagara style you should know it has the seeker so you will study in the there are the uh, three type of the temple structure broadly that there has been the three categories first is the nagara the second is the vaishada and the third is the uh, this uh, the Vedian style. The Vedian style and uh, this uh, Nagara style, Nagari style combined to make the Vesana style. So this has the mainly, uh, uh, this Ram temple has mainly, mainly based on the Nagari style, but there has been the some of the, some of the uh, features of the uh, the wooden style that is the it has the perimeter wall okay so around this temple there is the boundary wall that is not concept in the Nagar style but as it has been provided this is the main feature of the southern Dravidian style so we have this Ram temple have the uh, features if it is asked that yes it has the feature because it has the perimeter walls then it, ha uh, it that shows the Dravidian architecture style and what is the main characteristic of the Nagar style that it has the uh, sanctum sanctorium sikhar okay and the Vedian style have the gopuram means it has a very large ent entrance uh, entry gates 
so this is absent in this it doesn't have the large even in the Davidian style this gopuram the entry gate is the larger than the main sanctum sanct, sanctum sanct, sanctorium okay one more thing you should know that the granite blocks has been brought from the Karnataka and Telangana and the sand in pink sandstone has been brought from the we know that this is the Rajasthan Manas Paharpur the area okay few thing that was used by the our prime minister in the speech was that we are going from the Dev to this Ram to Rashtra so you should in, in use this whenever you are going to write that the collective or uh, collective approach of the all Indian people how it should be and uh, he has also mentioned that there should not be the just movement of the Vijay but the Vinay means you doesn't you shouldn't show that yes you have dominated some other group you have to win a humiliate a hum, a humility as well this uh, uh, this uh, article is talking about there has been a shift in the Indian polity now it has been a uh, tone uh, tone at, at the advent of the second republic and uh, this we have seen that there has been this a new emergence of the subaltern political Hinduism because this Ram temple we saw that in the judgments there was the there were the people those representative from the weaker section such as the Dom Raja or uh, Dom Raja uh, Anil Chaudhary was the made the judgment as well and he represent the uh, SC community beside that uh, particularly the untouchable community and beside that the so-called untouchable and this is the Mahadev Gaikwad and this is considered as the he is considered as representative of the nomadic and the uh, uh, denotified the tri uh, denotified tribe so this is the case of the subaltern political Hinduism subaltern means the, that that ideology that de uh, represent the weaker section okay so now it is talking about the even the in the area of the this uh, a new concept Ram Dekha before that we were knowing the Lakshman Dekha now we are getting a Ram Dekha redefining the relation between the state and the religion the religion of state has actively participated in the religion in this Ram temple we have seen okay now we have seen that the more humanistic native and vernacular uh, cosmopolitan simultaneously in the rise of this new ideology and uh, it should be considered in the term of some of the political scientists that this is the re renaissance of the India and uh, yes this comes with the warning level that should not be the born anymore okay okay so all this is about this news just you should know the art and culture behind this the new report with respect to this uh, Indian power plants nuclear power plants is that we have find that uh, report and that has been conducted by the Bark Baba Atomic Resource Center in Mumbai and it was for the 20 years of the period and it found that this uh, emission from this power plant uh, uh, power plants is not that much uh, uh, impactful on the health their intensity is low and you should know that uh, the major power plant and their location like the Tarapur po atomic power plant it is in the Maharashtra Madras you know Chennai Kaga this is in the Karnataka this uh, Rajasthan uh, this Norora that is in the UP Kakra part this is in the Gujarat okay Kakara Park Kakara Park okay you should know what are the uh, what are the basic elements that comes out of this uh, this uh, the emission the gaseous emission is the organ uh, radio iodine uh, cobalt 60 strontium 90 cesium 137 and tritium so you should remember the, all these things they can ask that these are the element they are associated with the on uh, uh, emission from the nuclear plant there is the also the liquid emission liquid discharge and this is the like the radio iodine tritium stone uh, strontium the same but it has the liquid form as well cesium has the liquid form and activation product like the cobalt so you should know all these things the measurement of this uh, intensity of this particles element on the health is uh, captured and measured by the average gross alpha activity and it is measured into the mega 
per cubic meter. So you should remember this as well. This is all about the next important news that we will cover is that there has been the outbreak of the Western equine encephalitis in the Argentina. So if it's asked that where this uh, this uh, the disease has been found and the outbreak of this was the impactful. So it is in the Argentina. What is the virus? Again, the same name, Western Equine Encephalitis Virus that is impacting. So you should uh, uh, remember and it has impacted the Uruguay as well. So this WEE, Western Equine Encephalitis Virus, this is Argentina and the U uh, uh, Uruguay where it has been uh, impacted the area that has been got impacted. Last uh, point we will uh, take is this uh, curiosity with respect to the how the oil fly and uh, without creating so much uh, noise. This is due to the micro fringe of all uh, wings. So it's reduced the flow of interaction between the feeder and the wing tips. So this is all about for the two days news. We have seen that the negative impact of the, this uh, uh, non-native species, particularly those who are the invasive species outside. One case is here that uh, in the, uh, this uh, particularly here we have uh, seen that the impact on the mutualism. Mutualism means the plant animals help each other in the survival and the growth. So we have seen that there was a mutual a mutualism between the tree and the ants, but due to the replacement of nat uh, natu ant with the uh, outsider ant. Okay, so trees from the grey juice and when the invasive ant push this natu ants out, so we saw that these trees will become more vulnerable to the elephants, and beside that, uh, uh, it also harm the survival of the lions because lions were used to hide to hide to attack on their uh, prey like the zebras so you can give this example whenever you have like right, uh, a answer for uh, this in impact of the invasive species so here we will conclude our session thank you for joining the session all the best jai hind